Over on the Niji Sanji subreddit, people are talking about how Doki Bird is being blamed for all of the backlash that Niji Sanji and their associated livers are getting. The full message is reading, It's not fair to her, but I think she needs to speak up if things are to calm down. A firm and serious no harassment statement. People are hurting. Fans of hers are hurting. People are using her for ill will. She can't just move on and ignore it. I'm sorry. As well as this message, which reads, she shouldn't have to say it, because no creator should be solely responsible for their community. But if her face and name are used like that, doubling down hard on no harassment is necessary to deter further doxing, harassment, and threats. A top comment pointing out how Doki herself has already told people not to harass anyone, and how she and most of her fans have already moved on. Further pointing out that they haven't seen any direct harassment to the currently active livers, and at worst they're getting clowned on on Twitter, in large part due to their own responses to trolls and bait comments. However, someone else on Reddit here in the comments does still try to put the blame on Doki. You can see the full comment here, and in my opinion, it's a foolish stance to take. The fact of the matter is that the Niji Sanji situation has proliferated so much across the entire internet that it's far beyond any sort of responsibility of Doki's. And trying to put any blame on her for things that she's not responsible for, and that are far beyond her control, is, like I said, in my opinion, a foolish stance to take. Yesterday, we talked about how Wilson of Niji Sanji was also hit with a community note. And this tweet from one of the most infamous Niji Sanji defenders attempts to put the blame for that community note on Doki's fans. Despite the fact that they don't have any proof that Doki's fans actually put the community note there, and that, for example, it wasn't simply put, by general critics of Niji Sanji. It's really a simple concept. The situation, like I said, has proliferated so much that the criticism Niji Sanji's getting is from people all over the internet in general, and they're wrong to try and blame Doki and her fans. Yet some of these people are trying to do just that, while they continue to ignore all of Niji Sanji's corruption, and instead continue bootlicking for that corporation. And that's it for this segment. Consider letting me know what you think about all of that in the comments, and if you enjoyed this segment, Please also consider liking and or subscribing. I do appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.